Today we're going to be heading out to Walmart and Target to see which place is the best to go for Pokemon cards. I'm going to be ranking these stores on three different factors, which are number one, the in-stock availability and the selection. Number two, the pricing. And then number three is going to be how good the pulls are that we get. All right, I'll see you guys there. All right, first stop is going to be Walmart. Let's see what we can find inside. Here. Well, that's something. Executor V-Box with the Cheetos. We got Steven, we got Patrick. You guys are subscribed? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Boom. All right, all right, all right, I think I got to get you guys something. I got you. Okay, so you guys pick one thing each, whatever you want. Anything? Anything off of here. Anything? Yep. What do you got right now? Get the Battle League deck. Okay, you probably want, like, a collection box or something. Maybe, like, these are pretty nice. So you got, like, a big selection of packs in there. I'm going to take this. You're going to go with the, the Zashion V Union? Okay. Yeah. The Lucario V Star? I'm going to go with this. Let's do it. Okay. All right, we're good to go. Have fun. Let me know what you guys get. All right, I'll catch you guys later. All right, so this is a huge mess. I just ran into two subscribers though. We grabbed them some boxes, so let's see what we can find in here. I mean, it's a pretty big mess. Wait, what is this? Gold? You're like, what? Ooh, okay, I actually didn't see this. Dragonite V-Box, and then there's a Shining Fates. You guys know I still need that Charizard. I might have to grab this. I mean, I feel like the selection here is not bad. It's just like all over the place. Like, what, what is happening? Garbage Pail Kids? Got a lot of tins over here. Got some Mewtwo V unions down here. What is this? Digimon Adventure Box. It looks kind of cool. Okay, I think I'm gonna get the Shining Fates for sure. We can grab a couple of these eraser packs. I don't know what the price is on anything though. It's like all the prices are all over the place. We're gonna have to like make sure that we're within our budget. And then maybe we'll have enough for one of these tins, the Vaporeon tin. I still don't know what my budget's at right now. We're gonna have to go like scan these. All right, so I just talked to the coolest Walmart employee. The dude was so chill. He helped me out get the pricing. And actually I can only get these. The Shining Fates box was so much, but um, he told me that they actually might have some back in the toy aisle. He told me that they actually just brought back the Pokemon cards like two or three months ago because people were fighting over them. But let's go check back toys okay so this is where they would be if they had them here but they're completely empty so we're just gonna have to go back up front now all right so luckily we found this giant display i feel like it's hidden in the back here because it's completely full what i want to do is i'm just gonna grab one of these i think i'm gonna grab this snorlax right here i'm gonna put one of these eraser packs back and then we should be just at around 50 bucks okay you so you subscribed yeah okay here's what we're gonna do if dad's cool with it you guys can grab one of each and i got you on that uh, i appreciate it cool that. okay Whatever you want. You want to get the shi yeah. Shining Fates? Yeah. I actually had that one in my hand, so now I need to know what you pull out of it, though. Did you want to grab some Pokemon? Okay. What are you thinking? Is there anything that you like in particular, or? Oh, yeah, the Hoopa box? Okay. Over yeah. here, they're looking for me. Lost you. <laughs> oh, okay, I thought you were looking for me. <laughs> here you go, guys, yeah. All right, good luck, have fun. All right, just finished up at Walmart. I was able to grab a couple cool things. I went a couple of dollars over budget, but it's all good. It's close enough to $50. Also, that reminds me, make sure you hit subscribe. Double check to see if you're subscribed. If you run into me somewhere, you never know. I might be giving away Pokemon cards, so you're gonna wanna make sure that you're subscribed. Let's see if Target has some Pokemon cards. So apparently Lost Origin leaked early in some Targets. I doubt we're gonna find it, but I will look for them. I mean, it'll be crazy, but I don't think it's gonna happen. All right, so you're always gonna wanna check out the checkout lanes. These are called checkout lane blisters, and it looks like we do have some Astral Radiance. They're $4.99 each. I think I'll pass on these now, but we'll go see if we can find anything else. So I'm walking towards the cards, and I see this, like, return basket, I guess it probably is, or something where people, like, we're going to buy stuff. I think I saw, yeah, I do. Okay, so there's this random mini tin in here. You know, I think I might grab this just because it's in this random, like, little bucket. All right, but here we go. Here are all the cards. So it looks like we got a Cleavor V-Star box. We have some of the Alolan Executor V boxes, Bolton. These things have been sitting around. I don't think these are as popular as some of the other stuff. Ooh, but it looks like we do have a Zashion V Union box. I might need to grab this. All right, I think we're gonna pass on this one just because it's 30. We might come back for it. We'll see what else we got here. Um, we got some Pokemon Go Elite Trainer boxes. Some of these tins. It looks like we're getting to stuff that's kind of just been sitting around like the trainer's toolkits, theme deck cases. Nothing like super, super interesting. Oh, here's the mini tins. So these are actually gone. So the one that I got is I guess the only one left that was just kind of like thrown around. And then looking through here, just some more tins and battle decks. It's actually kind of a mess. It's just, it, this keeps going down. Usually the Pokemon stuff is just right here, but like we keep going down here and actually it looks like there's just stuff. It's like all thrown down here. Like this is actually pretty bad. Like <laughs> there actually is stuff under here. This is the real breaking Nate method right here, ladies and gentlemen. Is that a case of mini tins? There's so much stuff under here, it's actually insane. I'm curious if there's anything under here. Just like random stuff. Bolton. 
Steam decks. All right, we're heading over to the toy section to see if there's anything else. I literally just grabbed this mini tin. I feel like it was really picked over. There was only like the Bolton V, the trainer toolkits, uh, some of the Cleaver V stuff. So there wasn't a ton, but we're, we're gonna go with this for now. I might have to go back up there if there's nothing back here. Oh, and we need a price check on this. Let's see. Okay, whoa, these are nine bucks? Okay, this is nine off the budget. Do they actually sell Pokemon cards back here anymore is the question. It looks completely empty over here. Like there might've been card stuff here. There's some Dragon Ball, but uh, I don't see any Pokemon. That's the problem. Yeah, no Pokemon cards back here. We actually have to go back up front. All right, game plan is the mini tin, the Exeggutor box, and then we're gonna do the Bolton box. That's right under 50. Ran into a subscriber, Alan. I don't know if mom's cool with it. If you wanna grab something, I got you. Cool, that's okay? Yeah. Okay. Hey, whatever, pick one thing, whatever you want on here. What do you think? There's Cleavor, Zashian. Back here is the uh, Grid Ninja V Union. Grid Ninja? Yeah, you go. You want to go for that one? Yes. Okay, I got you, yeah. You got to let me know what you pull, though. All right, we got the goods. Let's bring this back to Alan. Here you go, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> All for you. Thank you so Enjoy. Much. Hey, you're welcome. We're back in the studio, and the first thing I want to rank is the in-stock availability and the selection. While Walmart had a lot of cool different things and a decent amount in stock, Target also had a bunch of other things that Walmart didn't have, and they had a pretty decent stock. Honestly, I'm going to tie both of them with this first point. Second is going to be the pricing. There really wasn't a big difference at each store. I think that they also tied that as well, so we're going to give a point to both of them on the second thing. Now that it's all tied up two to two, the last thing we're going to see is how the pools are. Will Walmart have better pools or will Target? This is the last point for the win. All right, starting off with Walmart, our first item is going to be this Vaporeon Evolution tin. Now, this was released in the year 2021, and I already forget what packs were in here, so this will kind of be cool to see what we have. And yeah, I kind of went over the budget at Walmart by like three or four dollars so it is what it is we have our vaporeon promo card to start it off and what packs do we have in here all right so here's the code card for the tin you guys can have that as well and then all right so we're gonna see what the packs are we're, we're gonna start off with our first one which is gonna be fusion strike all right so i think that tin was around 22 dollars so yeah it was a little bit up there but i mean it depends on what packs and what pulls we get out of here from here on out like we already ranked everything else the selection and stuff like that, I feel like it pretty much tied. We got a Breloom V to start it off. Yeah, the selection was pretty much, I feel like Target had a lot of stuff that Walmart didn't have, and then Walmart had a lot of stuff that Target didn't have. Uh, what is happening? Okay. Um, all right, so that was weird. Uh, the, that happened sometimes. I mean, it was out of a sealed tin, so no worries there. We could still have a hit in here. But um, yeah, it was, it was pretty much tied up, I feel like, on selection. Grimmsnarl. And then pricing, there wasn't really any big differences, I feel like. I mean, I didn't look super closely at the pricing, but I feel like it was pretty pretty much even. So I feel like with that being said, the the score is basically even. Now, the last thing is just like the hits. Which one's going to be luckier? Ooh, non hollow. Last packet here is going to be Sword Shield Base. I actually forgot that these are in here. And surprisingly, both of the stores were equally as messy. Actually, Target, surprisingly, might have been more messier. Uh, nah, I feel like it was pretty even. Yeah, it was just like an, it was just even all around. Uh, one of the Walmart employees I was actually talking to told me that they just started putting back Pokemon cards on the shelves at that particular Target like two to three months ago. Um, so they didn't even have them out there for a long time. Not hollow. All right, so I grabbed one of these eraser blisters. Um, I grabbed that because you have Astral Radiance and Evolving Skies. In so those are two pretty... Ow, man. They, this, these are sharp, dude. I don't know. That that actually, like... Anybody else that happened to? Like, they usually round the corners. Oh, man. That's, like, actually sharp. That's crazy. But yeah, you guys probably seen this before. This is the Pikachu eraser. And then, you know, let's start with Evolving Skies. Let's start with Evolving Skies. So this should be, I believe, the reprint. So the code cards are going to be, yeah, those newer ones. That's actually a good sign. We got the black border on that one. Um, so let's see if we get a hit out of here. So it's still two V cards. Not really counting hollows. We're just going to do V cards are better. Scraggy. Oh, regular hollow. Surprisingly, I didn't find any of those weird mystery box things. Um, there's a new mystery box video that I don't know if that's going to be out before. I'll probably have that one out after this one. Um, I think it's a, yeah, it's, you guys are just going to have to see it. Um, yeah, that's all I'm going to say. But yeah, surprisingly, I didn't find any of those weird, um, mystery box things at either of those places. Regirog non hollow. Not doing too great, but uh, the last item that I have at Walmart is going to be this Pokemon Go tin. And, um, like, it, they had the whole tin display, like, in a random spot. So I feel like a lot of people did not see them. I feel like these would have sold a lot quicker if they were either up front or in the toy section. But they were just in a super random spot. I almost didn't even see them. I was walking by, and I saw it in the corner of my eye. So we have a Snorlax right here. And then you should have... Oh, wait, no, this isn't... Is this the one with the Pikachu that you normally have? 
Wait, I thought you get a Pikachu in here. Then normally the Pikachu is right behind this, right? Yeah, this is the Pikachu gift box. I'm confused. Okay, um, but we have stickers. So here's the stickers that you get. Where's the? Did they forget to put it in? Wait, is it that it? Oh, it's back there. Okay, so you have Pokemon Go code cards too, and then. Yeah, this is different. This one was put together differently, uh, but we do have that. So this is going to be it for Walmart. We're going to need to get some hits because right now we just have two V-Cards. One of them was actually the V-Card that you get on top of the tin, which is kind of interesting because uh, that was technically not even really a hit, but we're going to count it. But we're going to need something big. Uh, Pokemon Go, I really have good luck for some reason with, like, if I just open one tin of Pokemon Go, I normally get a crazy hit or two usually. I don't know why. Um, let's see if we can do it again. Slowpoke. Bruh. Bro, bro, I told you, I don't know what it is, dude. I have like the weirdest luck. Give me one tan of Pokemon Go and I will get a big hit. Dragonite Rainbow, that is nuts. I don't know what it is. I, I don't know what it is. You guys have seen it plenty of times. This is like the fifth time this has happened to me. Probably more than that. Um, That's a secret rare. That's going to help Walmart a lot because uh, I need to pull a secret rare from Target. Um, I mean, unless I get a ton of other hits. I, I don't know. That's a secret rare. That's... That's huge. And we still have three more Pokemon Go packs. All right, Magikarp, Bidoof, Melton, Reverse, and a Sylveon Hollow. By the way, what do you guys think of my choices here from what we purchased from Walmart Atari? Would you have chose something different than what I did with the budget that I had? Let me know down below. I'm curious to know uh, your guys' opinions on that. Rare Candy, War Turtle, Larvitar, Raticate. We got Natsu, Eevee, Bulbasaur Reverse. We got another V. It's another Dragonite. <laughs> Dragonite V card. Sometimes cards go flying. I think it's all right, though. All right, so final booster pack. Now, Walmart is um, doing a lot better on this last tin. Kind of saved it right there. So, yeah, we got two Vs. We got – actually, we got three Vs and one Rainbow. Um, so that's pretty good. We even got that Pikachu promo card, which is kind of cool too. Bidoof, Reverse, Non-Ditto, and it's Sylveon again. Pretty good lineup. Let's see what Target has. Wait, was this like this? Um, I didn't even realize. I'm going to have to go back and watch the video, but there's no packs on this side. Um, I see one more on this side. I'm going to assume hopefully the other one is over there. But uh, maybe they got shifted around. Maybe I did it. Maybe it was like that and I didn't even realize it when I grabbed it. I guess I'll be able to see in the video later though. Oh, uh, they're over there. They're definitely over there. Okay. Yeah. So it must have just got like moved around or whatever. Target would be hurting even more though if that wasn't in there. So yeah, we have the usual. We do actually got a Jumbo Bolton V. I guess we can count that as uh, something towards the score. Then we had a... I mean, this is actually... Now I think about it, this is actually a really solid lineup of uh, packs that you get in this box. Bolton V isn't the most popular, but there's good... I mean, dude, you got Evolving Skies, two Brilliant Stars, and a Fusion. That's actually a good lineup. But yeah, I don't think too many people are going crazy over a random Wooloo that you get. Well, we do get another Bolton V. This is the regular size one. All right, let's go. I mean, we... I, I, they could st targets could still win this thing. Target is just getting started right now. We got plenty of packs, I think, for this one. The Bolton box, I believe, it was twenty dollars on um, this box, so we hit right at about fifty bucks at Target. Walmart was the only one that I just kept getting. I don't know, prices were like confusing me. They didn't have it set up right. I was trying to figure it out, and I, I went over like three or four dollars, but it's fine. Leafy on V starts strong. All right, this is a good battle. Let's move into Brilliant Stars. This is another set where you could, uh, you could potentially get some really good pulls because of the uh, subset in there. Even on a code card like that one with the white borders, you could still get something from the trainer gallery in here, which is cool to see. Star you, Riolu, Magmar, Executor, and a Brelu. Make sure you guys check out all the videos from this whole entire week. Um, I went to a flea market. That was really fun. Um, and like a big warehouse type place. I don't really know the exact name of it, but that place was really cool. Also did a video opening up packs and then taking the code cards out and battling to see if the physical pack or the virtual pack online had the better pulls. That was a lot of fun. Not hollow there. But yeah, a lot of other cool videos. Went to the um, convention in Atlantic City, the National. That was last week. Well, it depends on when you see this video, but yeah, I did that too. Um, just been trying to get out more and do some more vlog style content. And um, it's been fun. I was doing it for a while and then I stopped and I'm jumping back into it now. So it's always cool to see what's out there in the wild. Just meet people and, and kind of just have fun, you know? I'm always hanging out in the studio when I'm filming, so it's good to get out once in a while. Clay will not hollow. All right, so Target, we have the mini tin of Snorlax this time. From Walmart, we had the bigger one. This is a small one. This was $9, though. But I don't know. Can I actually do something out of a mini tin? Out of one mini tin? That, that might be tough, though. I've never tested my luck that far, but you never know. You never know. So we do get this cool Pikachu um, coin. We get the Snorlax, part of that, and then we get a bunch of code cards. So boom, you guys can have that. And then there's only gonna be two packs in this. Right, it's gonna be tough on two. I'm pushing my luck right now with this um, 
come on, that one was like not opening. I'm I'm really pushing my luck right now in terms of like <laughs> I said I can get it out of one pin a uh, one tin. But a mini tin, that's that's another question. I don't know if I've ever done that. That might be I don't know. We'll see though. We'll see. Tranquil, Larvitar, not too. Pikachu, regular hollow, not too bad. We're gonna have to start getting some pulls like now because uh, we gotta get caught up to Walmart. We do need to get a secret rare um, or just get a whole bunch of really good pulls. I, I don't know, we'll have to see. Maybe an alternate artwork would be nice. But yeah, there's definitely way more V cards um, and just stuff that we pull from Walmart. So let's see if we get something. We gotta, we gotta maybe get something out of this one. We got one more collection box. Oh, I'm gonna count that. I know it's a hollow, but it is a Charizard. I'm gonna count that. Alright, so this is the last box that I got. I just realized I got a lot of Pokemon Go stuff now that I think about it. But it's the Alolan Executor box. It was $20. Um, and Target needs to get the goods. Four packs in here. Just rip this sucker right open and get right into it. Um, yeah, I mean, this is probably like <laughs> the least popular promo cards, I feel like. I mean, it's just, it's an Executor, so there's not like a ton of fans. So I feel like that's why the box sits around, but I mean, besides that, you get Pokemon Go packs, and the only way you can get Pokemon Go is by buying collection boxes and tins. And I mean, we do a V, technically another, oh, we had the Jumbo one earlier too, the Bolt, and I guess, yeah, we count those, honestly. It's another code, and then, yeah, we actually get the Executor V, so technically we do actually have as many V cards now from Target. And we include the Jumbo even more, so I mean, uh, right now, to, to tie it, if we just get a, a secret rare, something really nice, we could tie it. And if we get even more than that, Target could still win this thing. Okay. You know what? I completely forgot about those cards. I put them to the side over there, the jumbo and stuff. Yeah, I mean, it, it could definitely happen. It could definitely happen. Tranquil, Larvitar, not two. Venusaur Reverse, not bad. Pikachu Hollow again. All right. If we pull the alternate artwork Mewtwo, that's, that's a W. That's a win. That's a win for Target. Um, if we if we could pull that somehow, it's gonna be tough. But that would be a win. Or if we get like a secret rare and a full art or something, that could definitely take the the win as well. Bro, what? We we just we literally pulled another Executor. This is the ultimate <laughs> Executor fan lineup right here. Out of just one, and we still have two packs. Definitely got way more V cards now from Target. We just need one really big hit. Something that will beat that Dragonite uh, Rainbow or two nice hits to maybe tie it or, or, or do a little better. It's close right now. I mean, it's, it's pretty much neck and neck. Larvitar, come on, not two. It's got to be something. Soul Rock, slacking, dude. I don't want any more Vs. Vs are not good enough to, to surpass the, uh, the Walmart pull. Technically, Target has five V card pulls. Plus, if you count the Jumbos, seven total, which is insane now. Like, because uh, there was only three, technically, from um, Walmart. But that secret rare is still too good, I feel like. Even with, like, all those V-cards, still too good. We need last pack magic. We need something We need something as good as Dragonite to probably... I mean, that would take the win if it was as good as Dragonite, because then we have, like, seven more V-cards. That would take the win for Target. That would take the win. Come on. Just one big hit. One big hit. That's all it takes. Spinner Rack. Oh, it's just a regular... No, just a regular Hollow Tyranitar. Walmart wins this thing. And the final point goes to Walmart. Three to two. Walmart just barely wins this thing with the Rainbow Dragonite. But that was a really fun one to film. Thank you guys so much for watching the channel. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash the like button on your way out. If you want to watch more content, feel free to click on one of the videos at the top there. Hit that subscribe button as well. I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you on the next one.